I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand very important concept of finding lowest common denominator. When I write LCD we are trying to find lowest common denominator. So at times we also use lowest common multiple as a term lowest common multiple. Now application of lowest common denominator is normally in solving fractions. So whenever we have fractions addition or subtraction we are interested in finding lowest common denominator and then we can actually solve or we can simplify fractions. Similar term is lowest common multiple, right? So both are kind of similar terms. So we'll use these terms many times. In algebra, normally, we'll be using the term lowest common multiple. Now let us see how to find the lowest common denominator or lowest common multiple. Let us say you have to add something like 7 over let's say 12 plus 5 over 18. Now to add them we need to find the lowest common denominator so that is why I'm saying lowest common denominator finds its application in fractions to add or subtract fractions we should have same denominator. Okay. Now how do we find it? There are different techniques which we have discussed in different videos but here I am going to combine all of them. So one of the techniques learned is prime factorization. So one of the technique is, so let me write this technique as prime factorization. Let me use a different ink. So we'll use here prime factorization. Now in prime factorization you actually factorize each denominator. Let's do that. So 12. So 12 could be written as 3 times 4 and 4 is written as 2 times 2. So that is how we kind of make a tree to prime factorize and we can write that the factors of 12 are 2 times 2 times 3. So when you multiply these terms you'll get 12. Let us do prime factorization of 18 also. So 18 is 3 times 6 and 6 is uh, 3 times 2. So we could write 18 as 3 times 3 times 2. So that is prime factorization. Now using these factors, prime factors, how can you find the lowest common denominator? That's the question. Or normally, how do you find lowest common multiple of these two numbers? So here the technique is we have to consider each and every factor here. So if I consider 2, so you need to find, you have to see more where we have CM. So we need to see more of 2. In which do we see more of 2? You see more of 2 for 12, 2 times 2, less in 18, so disregard it. So that is what you see. Now, the other factor is 3. Where do you see more of 3? You see more of 3 for 18, so consider those and disregard this. Once you've done, then we have lowest common multiple, which is C more. Do you see that? C more? So we see more of 2 in 12, 3 in 18. So we disregard 2 for 18 and 3 for 12. Multiply these numbers. So that is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And that gives you a number 4 times 3. Or you can say 4 times 9 is 36. So you can use calculator, right? 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 9 is 36. Now once you know that 36 is your lowest common multiple then we can actually form a common denominator of 36. How do you get 36? Well you can multiply 
the first two terms numerator and denominator by 3 to get 36 right so times 3 and here to get 36 we have to do times 2 perfect so if I do times 3 what do I get 3 times 7 is 21 so we get 21 over 3 times 12 is 36 plus 5 times 2 is 10 divided by 2 times 18 which is 36 so you see we have lowest common denominator so this denominator part is common and that is the lowest one which could be common that is how we get the term LCD the lowest common denominator once we have same or common denominator you can always add the numerator so we get 21 plus 10 as 31 we get 31 over 36 as our answer so this is equals to 31 over 36 so that is how lowest common denominator finds this application or usage right now I'll show you another technique to find lowest common denominator or LCM right they these are similar terms method is same we call that as ladder division so so let me use ladder division the second method and then show you how to find the same thing using ladder division this time let me take more numbers so we'll take another example and let us say we have uh, 2 over 9 plus okay plus uh, 5 over 6 plus let me take one more number and let us say we take 7 over 12 let's say we are to add these three fractions now you can add them only if you have common denominator so to take common denominator we'll follow the method of division so it is called ladder division write all these three numbers the three numbers are 9 6 and 12 and divide by something so that you can divide at least two of them well we see that these two are even numbers we can divide by two nine cannot be divided so we'll write nine as such six goes three times and 12 goes six times now we can divide these numbers by three so continue this division part till you can divide at least two of them so when I do three three times three is nine three times one is three and three times two is six now we cannot divide any further so what we get here is set of numbers which are all kind of prime for us this time that may not always be so right so now we can say that the lowest common denominator is actually product of these numbers 2 times 3 times 3 times 2 which is 2 times 3 is 6 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 6 is 36 so 36 in this case is our common denominator now you can actually have 36 as a common denominator and add them all to make 36 2 over 9 could be written as you need to multiply by 4 4 times 2 is 8 so we get 8 over 36 plus 6 times right so 30 over 36 plus 3 times 21 over 36 since we have the same denominator you can always add them correct so let's add them together so denominator is 36 numerator 9 and 2 plus 3 is 5 so 59 over 36 this indeed is improper fraction you can write this as a mixed number also right so you could divide by 36 which is one whole and then when you take away you can do long division Let's check the answer later so you get 9 take away 6 is 3 23 over 36 that could be your answer in mixed numbers so these are different techniques which can be used one more technique which is very popular is Venn diagram I have a lot of videos in which we have discussed uh, Venn diagrams here is how we do it 
So we'll take off the first example since I already have the prime factorization. So first step is do prime factorization. So let us again go back to our first example 7 over 12 plus 5 over 18. We need to find common denominator so we need to find lowest common multiple for 12 and 18. So first we do prime factorization so we get set of numbers. For 12 it is 2, 2 and 3. For 18, 3, 3 and 2. So what we do here is Venn diagram means make two circles. Correct? So we'll write prime factors for the first number, let's say 12, in the first circle and for 18 in the second and common numbers will get in the center. So for 12, what you notice? We have, let me highlight common factors. So we have one of the twos is common, right? And also threes is also common. These are common, two and three. So when you write down your factors, you can write two outside. Two is unique to 12. So two comes here and then two and three is common. So we can write two and three here as common. When you write factors for 18, this three is outside. So it comes exclusively for 18 and three and two, three and two. You see 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18. These are factors for 18. And for 12 it is 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. Once you have this Venn diagram, then just multiply these numbers. So you get lowest common multiple as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. Do you get it? So that is another very important method to find lowest common multiple or when you do additions and subtraction for fractions we normally call it lowest common denominator so that is how you should do it i hope this video really helps you to bring all the things together thank you and all the best